What's up guys, Matthew Monas here, and you might not know this, but I actually game a lot. I'm a hardcore PC gamer, I play Fortnite, I play PUBG, I play Overwatch, I play a lot of great PC games, which means I got a lot of gaming mice, and I'm the type of guy that prefers to buy a gaming mice over a regular mouse, even to do productivity work. I just think they're a lot better made, I think they have better sensitivity, and there's just a lot more customization. Now I'm gonna share with you five of my favorite gaming mice that I'm using right now that I think you guys will probably like. Fate smiles upon me, flow like water. Genji here. First up is the Acer Cestus 500. This is a really great gaming mouse. I like it because it's ambidextrous, I'm left-handed, so I need something that works well for me. And I like it because it feels like a nice, comfortable pair of jeans. And the reason why I say that is, it has these shark fins on the side, so your fingers just kind of slide in naturally, and they don't fall off when you're gaming, especially if you're gaming over a long period of time. And the buttons are very tactile. They're easy to access and they're easy to get to. Now it is a little bit front end heavy, so the back doesn't have as much weight, but it just feels very comfortable for both FPS and RPG gaming. The other cool thing is it has Omron switches, so if you don't like the force or the tactile click on the top, you can change the sensitivity, making it a little bit deeper or less deeper by selecting the switches on the bottom. Now this mouse retails for about 80 bucks and is perfect for claw and fingertip users. <laughs> what do we have here? The SteelSeries Sensei Raw Gaming Mouse is the perfect mouse if you're on a budget. This thing only costs $32, but yet is still fantastic for gaming. The reason why I like this mouse a lot is because of its design. It's very simple, it doesn't scream gamer all over it, there's some RGB, but it's not too much, and it's perfect for someone who wants something to blend in with the office, but yet still likes to game a lot. The rubberized texture prevents your fingers from slipping off the sides. You got two presets for sensitivity, and you have two buttons on each side, which is perfect for right-handed and left-handed users. The only complaint I have is those buttons are not nearly as tactile and clickable as the Acer Cestus 500, but for 32 bucks, this is a fantastic option. Also, the braided cord is perfect if you want something that's very strong and it's not gonna rip on you over time. I love the classic rock, like Hasselhoff. But if you want something that's a little bit better for gaming, I suggest the Steel Series Sensei 310. It has all the features that the RAW has, but it has some better design characteristics. First and foremost, the rubber is on the sides of the mouse instead of all over it. The mouse itself is a little bit bigger and a little bit more heavy on the back, making it much more comfortable for palm grippers. The buttons are also a lot easier to access on the sides and much more tactile. It also has two presets for sensitivity, just like the Sensei RAW. And the best part about it, it has higher DPI Settings. So you're gonna get a lot better gaming performance and a lot more customization. Now this mouse is about 20 bucks more than the Sensei Raw, but it's a perfect upgrade if you want something a little bit more geared towards gaming. Now let's talk about a very sensitive subject, wireless gaming mice. A lot of hardcore esports professionals just won't use them for hardcore gameplay. I think we're at the point now where if you're a gaming enthusiast or if you game for fun and you take it seriously, wireless gaming mice, or at least a couple of them, are pretty close to their wired equivalents. Hold is standing around while there's work to be done. The first one that comes to mind is the Razer Lancehead. This thing is by far the most comfortable mouse I've ever used. It feels great when I'm holding it. The rubberized texture on the sides makes it very easy to hold while I'm using it. There's tons of RGB, so if you like customizing your mouse with different light settings. You can change the logo, change the light on the sides, or even the scroll wheel. You have way more presets for DPI sensitivity on the top than you do on the previous ones I just mentioned. And it's wireless. So if you don't like having cords everywhere, it's gonna save you some space. Now it only does last for about 48 hours to 72 hours, then you need to charge it. And if you don't wanna use it wireless, you can leave it plugged in the whole time and use it wired. Now my only complaint about this mouse is the buttons on the side. They are very in dented into the body, making it kind of difficult to click while you're playing. Bleeding like a stuck pig. Find the teleporter. And finally, my favorite wireless gaming mouse, and probably my favorite mouse overall, the Logitech G900. This thing has gotten so many great reviews. I personally find the Lance Head to be a little bit more comfortable, but I just find the customization, the use case, the latency to be the best with the G900. If you are obsessed with customization, this is the wireless mouse to get. Not only do you have tons of different presets for sensitivity, you can change the actuation on the scroll wheel. So if you want a very smooth scroll, you press it once. If you want more 
of a resistance on it, you press it again. It's also the design, it looks very sleek, like comparing it to the Razer Lance Head, it just looks like it was created by an alien. The buttons are easy to get to, the mouse is very clicky, you can use it wired, you can use it wireless, and the best part about it is it comes with weights, so if you find it too light to use, you can plop weights on the bottom and make it a little bit heavier. Now the G900 also comes with another great product that you can buy separately, and it's their power play mat. So basically how this works is, you plug the wired portion into the back of this and then as long as the mouse is on the mouse pad it will continuously be charged as you use it so you never have to worry about topping up the mouse because the power play mat will do it for you so here's the bottom line all of these mice offer some fantastic features the raw is perfect for budget gamers who want something minimalistic and feels great to use the steel series sensei 310 is better for gaming doesn't break the bank at 55 bucks and has a great design but if you want something where you can actually adjust the force of a click, get the Acer Cestus 500, it's a great gaming mouse. Now if you're into wireless gaming mice like myself, you're gonna want the Lance Head if you want something that's super comfortable. But if you want something that's comfortable and also very customizable, you're gonna wanna look at the G900 instead. So that wraps up my five favorite gaming mice that I'm using right now. Let me know yours in the comments below. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, feel free to hit the like button. If you're new to the channel, subscribe. And as always, I will talk to you in the next video. Time is an illusion, but the illusion is about to run out.